Hi, you guys. Okay, so this is my new little decoration that I've done in my house. Um, this stuff is from Z Gallery. I still need to wipe the fingerprints off the mirror from when it was hung. But I just wanted to show you guys. Look how pretty. I see. I'm on a new camera. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And see if this quality is very good. These are like some little crystal geodes on top of this little crystal prism. These are like these metallic silver colored vase and you can actually stick things inside them. There's a narrow hole in there. And then the little vase, well actually it's a candle holder. I got that from Ross and the white roses are fake roses from Dollar Tree. <laughs> this mirror is from Z Gallery. It's really pretty and a little bit different. And then this piece right here for this furniture piece is also from Z Gallery. Very modern. And I like the mirror, the gray and the white together. It's really classy. And if you did want to stick a pop of color in it, you could without messing anything up as far as the color scheme. So this is what I've been doing. I think it's really cute. Yes. Okay. I'm still deciding if I need to paint or decorate more. I like to take stuff like this slow because I'm not a decorator. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Now, I'm just trying to really get a feel for the camera's quality. Really? That's what <laughs> Sasha wants to be on camera. Hey, girl, how you doing? Is the camera's on? Yes, don't touch that. The camera's on. But you're like really close up. Let me, let me zoom out. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to see how it looks? See, look, watch this. It's going to zoom in. Ooh. Pretty, huh? Zoom in. <laughs> Do you like our new uh, decor? Pretty. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, they hung it up. The guys came this morning and hung it up. That, and they also got, they hooked up our bar speaker system here. We got this nice speaker under the television now. So we have surround sound. Is this actual crystal? Yeah. That is actual crystal. And every time you touch it, it gets fingerprints. But it's a geode on top. Isn't it pretty? Look, let me show you guys this geode, how sparkly. Look at the back. Don't judge your book by its cover. Sasha, please. You know how much that thing cost? How? A lot. <laughs> I'm like, if you only knew, I didn't get these at Ross, baby. This is from Z Gallery, okay? <laughs> Which I will probably not be buying accessories from anymore. I will be going back to Ross. <laughs> Because I was recording, baby. Um, if that, let me show you how to turn it up now, okay? Because we have a new remote for the volume. Okay, see this? You just press it up like that. and then Or you press it down. Okay, so you push it up. Press up. This one? Look at the, it says volume. Now push it up. Here you go. Press it down. Okay. So I'm going to go back upstairs now. Bye, Sasha. I love you. So this is my little dining room. We're pre prepared for Thanksgiving. I have the Thanksgiving um, things set up. You okay, Sash? Okay. So, yeah. So I have the little autumn at the placemats and the little table runner. A little golden pumpkins and the silver balls that I normally have. And this is our little Thanksgiving setup. We have another table in the kitchen and then we have a bar. As well, because we're gonna have like 15 people over here, and I hope we have enough. Oh my gosh! Um, and then here's a little sign that Layla made at school. It says "Give Thanks." Yes. Look, bad kids walking on furniture. I don't. I just, whatever. Okay, go upstairs. Bye, Sash. I love you. <laughs> oh, Sash, can you turn off those lights? That I turned on. Thank you, baby. Hi. 
I'm back and today we're going to be talking about having gratitude, being thankful for what you have. Okay, so since we are in the Thanksgiving holidays, we're going to be discussing, you know, yes, it's great to give, but it's also great to receive. So be very thankful for all the things you have received, whether it be from family, spouse, husband, boyfriend, you know, whoever, okay? Because the more you're grateful and thankful for something, the more you receive, okay? Also, as well as letting people know what you like and what you don't like. The holiday season is coming up. A lot of people get emotional around receiving gifts, spending time, getting quality things. Because the holidays are so focused on these material things, right? The gift that you receive from the person that you're with reflects how he feels about you in the relationship, right? So you got to get something that reflects how you feel about this person as well, okay? So a lot of women are dating older guys or, you know, men of means or, you know, they don't know what to buy their significant other for Christmas or the holidays. So think of something very sentimental because if you're dating someone with money, they already have everything. So think of something that would be special to them, you and them, you know what I mean? And um, they'll always have something to remember you by, especially if they travel a lot or whatever. Give them something engraved, something special to them. Like listen to them when they talk and see if you can pick up on something that they're very interested in. Like is it art, travel? Um, do they have something special as a child that they lost? Um, you know, do you guys have a favorite song? you know, blah, 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 blah. Do they have a favorite quote or saying? Or do you guys share a favorite author or something like that? Or a musician or a quote from a song? You could get that engraved in something and give it to them, like uh, an ID bracelet, um, a pin, um, you know, something like that. Maybe uh, a card holder case. Um, you can do their initials. Um, you can Put something very sweet that you guys ha uh, have between you like a saying that you always call them or their pet name or something like that but make sure you give them something that's memorable and special and personalized only for them that they can take with them everywhere because they'll always remember you when they pull it out like if it's a pen uh, a really nice pen with an engraving on it they'll always remember you when they pull out that pen to write if it's a money clip or some type of business card holder they'll always remember you when they pull it out if it's something like a, a, an ID bracelet, they'll always remember you when they put it on or get compliments on it and blah, 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 blah. Um, so make sure you're getting them something very special to make them feel like you value them as well, okay? Um, and they will be sure, you know, they're gonna be sure to give you what you want, right? And if you're in a, re a relationship where you never receive special gifts or anything like that, um, because you can't afford it or they just don't care enough about you know that you do deserve it and understand that that type of relationship is only going to get worse okay so we're not going to dwell on that the negative side of things just know that you got to do better in the future okay um be thankful for your kids your family all that kind of stuff and make sure you know the people that support you and that are helping you are you know are told that you know Thank you, da da da. You know, because people want to do more for you if you're thankful. Okay, a lot of women, you know, they're not always saying thank you or you know uh, appreciate you or they don't let people know enough that they appreciate them. You know, teachers, doctors, um, receptionists, you know, people that you deal with on a daily basis, they need to be told this. Okay, and the next time you show up or the next time you need a favor. They're going to be the first ones in line to help you, okay? This is another way to kind of get what you want, get information that you need, get uh, generosity, get abundance, and get prosperity because you're always so giving with gratitude, okay? And they're going to remember you. You know, give, give those little people that you come in contact with a lot, 
you know, Christmas cards, maybe a little $5, you know, gift card or something like that, just to say thank you. Like, I always give my mail lady um, a Christmas card or, you know, a gift card or something. I always um, do that to people that I see, you know, ever so often that do little things for me that I appreciate. So make sure you're doing those type of things because it just shows the character of you. People won't have anything bad to say about you and they'll always give you favor over others if you're always going that little bit, that little bitty extra step, you know. Every year I always give my kids teachers gifts around most holidays. They get a teacher's uh, day gift, they get a Christmas gift, and then they get the end of the year gift or a Valentine's gift, whichever one. But we always go overboard and my kids always come out good, no bad behavior. You know, if they do mess up, the teacher kind of looks over and give them a second chance. <laughs> okay. So make sure you put that Starbucks gift card up in there. Okay. And make sure they know who it's from. Okay, so I want to show you guys. The kids' pictures came back from... Oh, look at Layla. Look at my baby. This is Layla's picture. She's so beautiful. That's Layla. And I'm going to show you, uh, show you guys Sasha. Sasha's picture. It's so cute. This is, this is so cute. This is Sasha. That's our school picture. Look at her. Look at that smile. So precious. That precious baby. So these were their school pictures. Um, I got to frame these and cut them out and give them to family members. But yes. Um, my babies. So I'm very thankful for them as well because kids, whether you know it or not, they're really not um you know they're here and they love you unconditionally you know so you can get the truth out of them they do things for you because they love you okay that's true love that's honest love okay um so remember to be good to your kids if you're the type of mother that neglects and ignores your kids a lot and just always on the phone or the computer or whatever whatever make sure you start spending more time with them because this is their childhood. They're going to remember this, you know, instead of always out in the club looking for a man or, or being on the phone or internet. Spend time with your kids because if you don't find one or if they leave or it's not a permanent situation, these are the, you know, the people that are going to have to take care of you when you get old. So don't mess it up. Okay. <laughs> um, they're very special. Take them to do stuff, you know. Make sure they're happy and have the things that they want as, as well, you know. Kids, if when you give them what they want and they appreciate it and they understand why you're giving it to them, you know, they're going to be able to do the same to someone in their future, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're going to know that you give gifts because you appreciate and you love and you want to show gratitude, okay? Um, some people like, you know, oh, I can't spoil my kids or, oh, I can't do that. But I like to give my kids things because when they grow up, I don't want them saying, oh, I never had this or I never had that. And I don't want them saying, um, oh, you know, I'm not used to anything, so I'll take anything. You know, if they're used to a certain standard lifestyle, um, clothing, you know, way of living, any you know type of toys oh well, they won't need toys when they grow up but just you know having the best of things they're not going to settle for less they're not going to accept some guy that can't do what i can do what their dad can do for them you know they're going to be like oh i don't eat there oh no i, I can't be seen in this type of car they're going to be very stuck up and bougie basically but it's a good thing for them and their future generations because they're not going to settle for less. They won't be able to. They'll be like disgusted and they will not do it. They'll be just like, oh no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. You know, they will automatically be steered away from anything less than, they, than what they are used to having. So I'm doing this on purpose because I don't want them falling for anyone who cannot provide and the best or better than their own parents okay and I specifically think I want to do this and a lot of other women should be raising their daughters the same way 
because when you're young, you want to fall in love. But if these things are there in your mind, at least your love will be geared towards somebody that can at least provide for you, okay? And not use your name up, your credit up, and leave you with nothing. And, you know, go and be with the baby mama or marry somebody else. You don't want that for your daughters, okay? So teach them to only accept the best. And if they don't come with the best, you bypass, okay? That's what I'm teaching, you know? Um... And I'm showing them why. I'm showing them why as well. I'm, I'm showing them, do you see how these people live over here? It's because he doesn't have a really good job. He didn't get educated. She just chose him for the wrong reasons. And look, they're struggling. They have no Christmas presents. Their lights are out. This is why you think and you choose wisely when you choose a partner. Okay? Do you want to be in that situation when you grow up? coming from a nice house with having everything you want no you don't so you don't even go for that okay he might be cute he might be nice but that does not pay the bills okay darling that does not buy you the things that you need that does not provide lights electricity and da 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 it doesn't, it doesn't okay so I'm going to teach her this growing up you know if you happen to find a really nice connection with someone and they can fit you know all the check marks on the list great we can accept them but if they're broke poor struggling damn near homeless leave them leave them there and move forward okay don't feel sorry for them they're a man okay they're not supposed to uh, you know if they can't build build themselves up and bring themselves back out of that you can't either okay and if you do they're not going to appreciate it anyway and they're going to resent you for it later because they can't be a man so that's what i'm teaching my daughters okay um and i'm very smart i'm very smart like i have a very high iq okay i know a lot of things but i don't brag and i don't show off in front of people in front of my husband um when he's wrong or when he can't accomplish something or can't do something i just go and uh you know assist offer ideas but i don't tell them what to do you know and you know when the thing gets done or when the thing gets accomplished because of my input i just like oh how lucky or oh that's so cool i figured it out <laughs> you know or oh wow i did that by accident you know yeah, I'm dumbing myself down because they know the truth. It can't. It's not a coincidence that every time I come through and, and and do something and fix something and figure out something, it's not an accident, you know. But they appreciate me not saying, oh, "I can't believe you can't figure this out. You stupid," or "Oh my God, let me do it because you don't know how to do that." Thing. You know. I just make them feel like, oh must be luck I'm very modest about those type of things because if they're in front of friends or family and you just go and say I know I know I know you don't know anything it's embarrassing to them and they you know you don't make them look good anymore and that's what you're there for to make your husband look good to make him look like you know especially if he's taking care of you and the kids and the house and paying all the bills he needs to feel like motivation to keep doing it you know <laughs> so i was like oh that's so cool we did it together um so story time so the the people were here installing uh, our sound bar on the tv and we had to hook it up to the smart tv and the cable and all that stuff and they could not figure out for the life of them how to connect the sound bar to the tv so I'm in the bathroom in my room. I could hear everything that's going on, but I hadn't come out of my room yet because it's early in the morning. And I was, you know, doing my hair, my makeup, blah, 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 blah. So I get up, I come out, and they're saying, oh, I don't know how to fix it. They're on the phone with the cable company. And they're like, I can't figure this out. The the guy who is installing it, he doesn't know how to figure it out. And so I'm like, okay, where's the directions? You know, give me the directions. Let's see if we can figure this out hold on I'm gonna look up a YouTube video on how to do this and, da, da, da. and so the YouTube video helped a little bit but then we had to get to the manual and so lo and behold I figured it out it started working and the worker who was installing the 
soundbar was standing over here laughing under his breath because I figured it out and he couldn't and they couldn't they were working on it 10 minutes and say like, oh she got it you know she got it I was like oh I don't know how I did it must you know but yeah we got it together <laughs> so it was like but he knew and so did James but they didn't say anything I just you know I let him save face you know because that you know he that was one of his friends who's like a home builder and stuff like that so I was like you know I'm not gonna embarrass him in front of his friend I'm just gonna like oh we did it together <laughs> you know but that's how you keep the peace they still know you're smart and whenever they have a problem they call you first because they know you might accidentally solve it or they know what you're doing they're not they're, they know that you're saving. They're not going to bear. They're not afraid to ask you for, you know, help with something like that because you're not going to rub it in their face and make them feel stupid about it. Okay. Um, yes, he's a, he's into technology, but still, that's a different type of technology. It's not like, oh, how do you connect this to that? You know, different televisions, different speakers, different this and different that. Every company, every type of, uh, brand has a different way to do it so you know it's just all about strategy and figuring things out and taking things slow and reading directions and looking up youtube videos and stuff like that i mean i'm not a genius like that but i know how to find the answers <laughs> okay and plus i'm young okay if young people will go straight to google and straight to youtube old people will be like on the phone with the cable company <gasps> trying to look for stuff in the manual I'm just going straight to a YouTube video how to hook up this this and that step by step <laughs> then I'll look at the manual okay so most people would have figured that out by now but you know older people they have they're stuck in their ways you know uh, I remember my stepdad still used the phone book up until like two years ago so hey the yellow pages wow now they have online yellow pages but i still don't embarrass him so um i'm very thankful because you know he bought everything he got he paid for everything to get installed you know we went shopping at z gallery bought all the stuff so you know why would i embarrass him just to inflate my own ego that i could look up a youtube video right on how to connect the sound bar makes no sense right and but a lot of women have this ego okay a lot of women have ego that needs to be put on hold because it's a masculine trait and men aren't attracted to it um even women who get left and they only want the band back they only want the man back because they feel like oh how dare you leave me or i didn't put on all this work for you to leave me or i'm gonna get you back and leave you you know to me, it's better just to get a better man. Like, But a lot of women have this ego that won't let them. And it's like, I'm going to show you. They don't care. That's why they left. Why? Because you're too masculine. And they don't care. Okay? So think about this. They don't care. It's not a competition. If they left you first and then you get them back to dump them, they'll be like, Shh, I, I left you anyway. You don't want to beg me back. You know? So... It's not even the same thing. Your ego is still going to be hurt, but 10 times worse. So, ladies, that's why I would say get over that and get better. Okay? Um, if you're in a relationship and you always have something negative to say, if you're always nagging, whining, oh, you can do better, this, this, and that, then you're with the wrong man. Okay? You shouldn't be doing that. Um, and if you are, then level up. You know, level up to somebody, get out of the relationship and level up to someone who you think is going to do all that stuff for you. Chances are a lot of the times these, these women are expecting all this stuff out of men, but you're not the type of woman that men do this stuff for. You don't, you don't try to look like the type of woman that men want to do this stuff for. You don't act like the type of woman that men want to do this stuff for. And you don't treat him like the type of woman would treat him that he will do all these things for. And you, then you get mad when they leave. Like, just because they're with you doesn't mean you're the type of woman that they're going to do this stuff for. Okay? Think about it. That's why I say every time you get in an argument, make sure you are flawless. If, if you know you're getting ready to pick a fight or nag somebody, make sure you look flawless so that they cannot either A, deny you 
or give in easily to you. You know, they'll give in easily to you the better you look, right? So don't be nagging people with a bonnet on looking ratchet and wondering why they're leaving and packing up, okay? So <laughs> I just wanted to come on real quick and make a quick video. This is not going to be one of those long drawn out ones, but thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I guess I'll be starting to do more of these regular upload videos instead of live now. Uh, I'm still going to go live maybe once a week, but I'm going to see how you guys like these. If there's, um, you know, if there's more demand for the live, I'm going to go live more. If there's more demand for the sh these videos, I'm going to do these more. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see y'all on the next one. It is almost Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. Um, if you're watching this in a different time of year, happy whatever day tomorrow is. All right, I'll see y'all later.